Welcome to War Thunder Update 1.59 Flaming Arrows. Anti-tank guided missiles, a brand new hangar, new maps for ground vehicles and aircraft, and of course, some fantastic new vehicles. You're sure to like it. Let's go. Anti-tank guided missiles or ATGMs are the star of the show in Update 1.59. This new type of ordnance will fundamentally change the metagame in high rank ground battles. ATGMs are missiles specifically designed to destroy enemy armored vehicles. They can be guided using wires or a radio connection. Each tank variant nation in War Thunder has received a vehicle equipped with ATGMs in the Flaming Arrows update. Here they are. The USSR Tech Tree has received the IT-1, the first and sole missile tank with ATGMs accepted into actual military service. The tank has no cannon, but has 15 powerful guided Dracon missiles mounted on T-62 chassis. The British are getting the STRV-81, a Swedish model of the Centurion III, additionally armed with SS-11 missiles, each of which can penetrate up to 600 mm of armor. Another tank in the game is receiving ATGMs as well, the German Raketenjagdpanzer II, an SPG based on the universally lobbed Jagdpanzer IV-5. This vehicle has two ATGM launchers instead of a cannon. Its ammunition complement of 14 deadly missiles is enough even for the most heated battles. Finally, the US will get the legendary Sheridan, a tank from the Vietnam War. The light and very maneuverable Sheridan is armed with a powerful 152mm cannon, which can fire both ordinary shells and guided missiles. But what's that in the sky? A winged dragon looks down from high on the new missile-equipped tank combat. The first turboprop aircraft in the game, the Westland Wyvern. This British heavy seaborne fighter carries an imposing armament of cannons, bombs and a staggering 16 aircraft rockets. Enough gifts for everyone, both tanks and aircraft. And how its engine sinks. Soviet pilots are getting two fantastic vehicles. The Yak-30D is the long-awaited top-range fighter in the Yakovlev branch, a fast, durable, multi-purpose fighter interceptor. The USSR's fleet of heavy aircraft has been reinforced by the addition of the huge Tu-4, a Soviet copy of the American strategic B-29 Super Fortress bomber. Only instead of machine guns, it has 10 23mm cannons and a full 360-degree firing arc without dead zones. Incidentally, the B-29 itself has received an updated in-game model and now looks amazingly beautiful. The most extraordinary addition of this update is the German Heinkel 219 Night Fighter, not only because it's a truly excellent aircraft with fine maneuverability and six cannons. This aircraft's model was created by a War Thunder player, someone just like you. We accepted this model as a part of our revenue share program and now a portion of the revenue from each purchase of the Heinkel 219 will go to the model's author. Don't just sit there, learn 3D editing and make money from your favorite game. Now, back to the ground. Tanks with ATGMs are far from the extent of the new additions in our armored vehicles in War Thunder 1.59. The massive T-29 tank with its impressive turret armor will be arriving in the hangars of American tankers. The LVTA-1 amphibious landing vehicle is a fun tank that floats. With its two extra machine guns at the rear, it arrives as a new American reserve machine. Germany has also received a new reserve tank, an early modification of the Panzer III, the Model B. The new Stua Emil German SPG, with a 128mm caliber sniper cannon and an open cabin, will continue the line of new additions from the last update, the Dicker Max and Nashorn SPGs. Additionally, Germany has received captured KV-2 and T-34 tanks, which is awesome. The British tree has gained a new modification of the Cromwell tank with unguided rockets. Exactly the same rockets that are used on the Hurricane fighter, but they're a lot easier to fire from a tank. For Soviet tankers, two nimble and stubby air portable SPGs, the ASU-57 and the ASU-85, both with excellent cannons. A new version of the KV-2 armed with the CIS-6 cannon has also arrived. This cannon is powerful and accurate capable of landing solid shots over great distances. The Sniper KV-2, you've never seen anything like it. All these new vehicles need a new hangar. We have completely revamped the hangar's design and now tanks, SPGs and other armored vehicles prepare for battle in a repair shop under an open sky. And aircraft have their own spacious hangar and landing strip. 
we continue to make new locations and missions. We're pleased to present a new map for mixed battles, Novorossiysk. There, in the autumn of 1943, a Soviet landing party freed the strategically important Black Sea port from its occupants in the unique operation which laid the groundwork for the liberation of the southern USSR. This summer, we invite 400 pilots and tankers to fight for the port of Novorossiysk. Fierce skirmishes for the railroad terminal and city park will unfold here amid ruined, bombed-out buildings and derailed train cars. Great news for pilots, who have expanded the size of the Britain map fourfold. A large part of the English Channel and part of France is now available in the map. A new mission on the updated 128 by 128 kilometer map is dedicated to an operation to evacuate French troops from the port of boulogne sur mer A whole new battle awaits you there. We cannot tell you all about the new additions in War Thunder Flaming Arrows in one short video. Updated models for ground vehicles and aircraft, numerous bug fixes and improvements, and new additions to flight models and missions. Read the full change log on our official site, link in the description below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to keep up with our news on social networks. Victory will be ours. See you on the battlefields of War Thunder.